What's up guys, Charles here with D2IPDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. This time is going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial and I'm covering um, a little issue people have sometimes during animation which is called overshoot and uh, I'm just going to jump right in and show you what it is and how to solve it. So I'm just going to grab out a little text object here and slide it over here, set a keyframe, move forward and then set a keyframe. Now I'm going to want this text to sit here for about eh, 10 to 15 keyframes. So I'm going to move this ahead, set a keyframe, and then move this out of the screen. Alright, so now when we play it, you'll see it's got that little um, bounce right there. It bounces back and forth and then goes forward. Um, well, we don't want that bouncing in there. We want it just to go here, stop, and go forward. So what we need to do is open up the uh, window tab and go to timeline. And then our text object, we need to open up, and then open up the position on it, and then open up position X. And so if you notice, these little handles here are all bent on these two keyframes, which is where we want it to stop. Um, and what we need to do is we need to select them we can either change this to linear or we can go over here and hit clamp. Now, when we play it, you'll see it stops and then goes forward. There's none of that, uh, there's none of that bouncing which we were getting before. So that's, that's how you do it, guys. Pretty simple and uh, definitely saves a lot of headaches when you're trying to animate something and it's not working how you want it. Just open up that timeline and do what I showed you and uh, that should that should solve the problem. Anyway guys, hope this has helped. I'm out of here. Peace.